Uh, hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. Um, as shown in the poll results that should have come up just now, <laughs> this one. Um, truth be told, I have actually recorded some of this before. Um, about a year ago, I was like, I'm gonna record Life is Strange. Um, but I never uploaded it. Um, I did a bit of the first chapter, and then... I don't know. I think I, I think then I went to do Spyro or something instead. It, was that a year ago? I don't know. There, there, there was something else I was like, nah, never mind, I'll do this later, or maybe not do it, or whatever. Um, so the first, I think, five episodes... I mean, it'll be really obvious. Um, but the first five episodes are from a year ago. Um, it is all blind still, it's just that it was recorded a while ago. My mic setup was different and maybe my commentary style has changed a little bit. Um, but it's still me. It was just from a year ago. Um, so I I only just edited those episodes like a couple of days ago um, to refresh my memory of what's happening and all that. Um, I, I really didn't get very far. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is now the first episode of recording in 2016, <laughs> instead of, I think it was April 2015 that I recorded those other episodes, so. Um, uh, yeah, um, during those episodes I used the mouse, uh, mouse and keyboard, I actually only just noticed today that it says um, that you can use a controller. <laughs> um, yeah, so now that I actually have a controller, um, I will be using that. But in those first few episodes, the, the camera's going to be all messed up and it's going to be so pleasant. Um, I also have like some pic- uh, I mean, I don't mean to tell, like, talk about everything terrible with that recording session. Um, I, I think I recorded it all in one day as well. Um, I'm very echoey and stuff. Anyway, um, but you may notice that the video is a bit pixelated. I'm not sure if I was using Bandicam back then. Um, I don't think I was. I think I was using DX Tori. Um, so hopefully that won't be an issue now. Um, I think I'm also playing on a different laptop. No, no, no. The laptop's the same, but the hardware's a little different, I think. So I don't know if that's... Anyway, I don't really know um, if that's going to make a difference. But um, yeah, so anyway, um, I'll now cut to uh, to those first episodes, <laughs> so there'll probably be another introduction, but anyway, I'll let previous me explain how it's blind and all that, so yeah, that's it for me for now. Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play from me. Um, I, the second episode of this game just came out, um, and so I was like, oh, I, I should try the first one. Um, and then there was this Easter special and whatever. So, here it is. Um, first video of a new recipe is always very awkward. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna get into it, because uh, I don't know anything about this game. Um, nothing. Nothing. So, <laughs> don't even know what the controls are or anything, so... I have a mouse, but I'm not sure if... Oh! Okay. Uh... Uh... Can I use directional? But oh, I can, okay. That's fine. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look here. Square Enix account. That's uh, no, okay. That's it. Can I get out of... One second here. Okay. Let's have a look at the options. Settings, video settings. Uh, oops! Oh, hello. So the first logo is barely visible. Barely visible. There we go. That'll do. Stream size is fine. Advanced video. Oh, Jesus. Uh. 
we'll keep it like this for now. If I start having issues, then um, we can uh, we can change things. All right, let's go back. Audio settings. By the way, so far the music's very good. <laughs> I mean, it's only been I'm only on the intro screen. It's very nice. Subtitles are fine, I guess. Oh, this is probably fine at least for now. Can always change things later. Controls. Um, I don't know. I also don't know if you can use a controller with this. Um, if you can, I'll cut away and cut back to me having that on. But, uh, let's see. At the moment, I should have some people, so. Let's make out of this. Okay. I guess a uh, new game. This is gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary, isn't it? <laughs> Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. Oh, really? And the consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh, God. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus, that scared me. That was very loud. I almost had a heart attack. I was gonna say, um, I believe. Uh, I mean, like, it seems a bit like The Walking Dead again. I think that's it. It's okay. If you can see the volume thing, I thought it How we control things. Okay, I can use the direction. Now I can move the, oh, I can move the camera with the mouse. Oh, it's one of those games. Okay. Let's just go. Off the stairs. Oh, okay. So I can move the camera like this. I'm scared. I'm like leaning back from the monitor. Oh, look at that. That's cool. What's over here? Whoa, look at that. That's amazing. Holy Jesus. Okay, let's go back this way. Use this. Come on, Max. You can make it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can I do anything with these? I don't even know, like, if I can pick things up or anything. It's just, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's go over here. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to go here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Holy shit, indeed. It's beautiful, though, and terrifying. But beautiful. Beautiful. Oh god. Whoa. That was so surreal. Mostly called film little pieces of, of time. But he could be talking talking about photography as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Am I an Arbus? There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Uh, because of her images of hopeless faces. One sec. I, I just want to just uh, okay. I want to turn off the subtitles because they are annoying. Wait, where was that? Subtitles, subtitles. It's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. Was it in controls? No. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, yeah, I want to turn off those because that's annoying. I also want voices to be a little louder than everything else. 
Okay. All right. I don't know. It's like the mouse is like not responding properly. Oh wait, maybe that's uh, maybe that's this. What happens if I make this more? I don't know. It's it's like it takes a second to respond to me moving. It's annoying. Although the camera sensitivity was really crazy, so I don't really want that to be high. I don't think. Okay, we can. We can you feel like totally Ooh. haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and Look children. Look left. Okay. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. What's happening? And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of it's, you could do that wait, to me. Wait, it's like telling me to hold down the left button, Isn't that which I easy? am. Too Try obvious. To aim at the photo and hold this muscle what if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Look and release. Oh. She had a brilliant eye. So... Look at this oh, okay. Guy. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Now what happens? <laughs> she could have taken another approach. Okay. Oh, jeez. I have to admit, I'm not a big Take fan selfie. of selfie. Oh yeah, in the middle of class. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Oh. I just stick my analog camera. Oh, I understand. I should take a quick picture now. Oh, okay, I understand. Now. Without a beat. I see how. Which works. explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 19th. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic <laughs> tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. She totally yeah, looks like this character from Gilmore Girls. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype oh, self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. No, oh, it's key. I like it old school. Yeah, it's key. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor. Did you say Melissa or Alyssa? Still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> They're never characters with my name, so if that was more, so that's exciting. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. <laughs> See, one second. Okay, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I just had to uh, put my cooling pad under my laptop because it is a lot hotter than I expected it, it would get. So let's look at this on the table. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't <laughs> believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Yes, yeah, seriously. People laughed. Isn't this, like, university? Let's look at this. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Let's use this. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Holy crap. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> also, why is the dollar sign after this? But okay. That's craziness. Can I do anything with this? No. Read. Oh. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want. Straight out of the camera, JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. That's insane. And I don't care. 
Let's go. <laughs> Let us leave. By the way, I'm really, really crap at using uh, mouse and keyboard, so this should be an, um, an experience. Let's look at this. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Okay. Computer! Let's look at the computer. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Let's use the Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yes, very cool. <laughs> okay. Aha! Alright. Let's go. I thought it said use for a second. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, this one. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay. Paper ball. Let's look at that. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Urge. Okay, that sucks. All right. Is all of this going to be terrible? Oh, I can take a photo of it. Okay. Oh! What is... How do I... What is... Tab is journal? Oh! My goodness. Okay. This is many things. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is... Okay. <clears throat> Should I read it all? <laughs> I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. For now, I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. Oh, okay. Now I know what it is. No kids allowed. Who says that? Anyway, <clears throat> I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I used, uh, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mum cried and my dad laughed. That's so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. Okay. August 18th, 2013. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking. With coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> oh, <clears throat> to study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> Sigh. <clears throat> Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky. I, uh, I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh dear! Yes, very funny. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Maybe it will. Next, please. Shit, it's crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. 
Mum and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room, though I caught Mum crying when she was packing my shirts. They made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about this is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arm, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait till it... What is this terrible writing, by the way? <laughs> Sorry. No, it's amazing. <clears throat> I just... I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Go you! Oops, that's not what I meant to click on. Oh god, what's happening? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> September 2nd, 2013. 12.07 a.m. Very specific. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before... Wait, what? <clears throat> my first entry from my new dorm room the night before the first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start the first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I met Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the Wambulance. What? What? <laughs> Why? <clears throat> I don't want this day to end all. Whoa, is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th, why are you wasting stamps in this? I have an arse load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. Acclimate? Acclimate. <clears throat> but to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. He's a serious geek. Plus he's dark and woody. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about, f uh, we talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the clique action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought, yeah, no, um, teenage drama never leaves you. Just mention that. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects, and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him! Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teacher's grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're on a guess at Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts gave a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended. For him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's... 
She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. Makes her more beautiful than the biatches here. Seriously? <sighs> you can't just say bitches? This is too difficult. Here, like Victoria, who think, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. But I hope you don't mind me reading all this. <laughs> I feel like you're supposed to. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from, he from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwall, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Ah, <sighs> oh, sigh. September 30th. <clears throat> I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class on... Of what? I'm trying to keep up... Hey, oh my god. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep up with my science class, of all things. I can't give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Oh, it was her 18th birthday. Or... Is it just, is she just saying that because she didn't mention it was her birthday, so maybe, I don't know, anyway. <clears throat> Ms. Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means as, as, even, <laughs> even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now how much homework are you avoiding? Or, oh, now how much homework are you avoiding? I guess is how that was supposed to be. Okay, last one. <clears throat> October 1st. October, my favourite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change colour, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Wait a second. Oh no, yeah, that is right. I was... I'm... Confused between New Zealand weather and American weather. Of course, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. That is autumn. I love watching the leaves change colour, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I don't know what that is. Okay. <clears throat> I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my, my copy of Battle Royale. But seriously, better, better royal. <laughs> uh, it, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I had pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Excuse me? Or is that backstroke fest? You so puny, Max. But, oh, punny, not puny. <laughs> You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Is it, Are we at the end now? Yes, okay, Jesus. That was a lot of reading. <laughs> can I click on these? I can click on these. Oh God, so long. <laughs> so much to read. Uh. Wait, I need a drink, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but, is it, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. Of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. Because it's cool. <clears throat> I love all kinds of... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so hipster. I mean, <clears throat> I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. Really? So, you really like old analog camera stuff rather than the digital stuff, but you love to take selfies the most. <laughs> okay, then. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship, even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. 
It feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with Retro Camera at my side. Say cheese! Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson could be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday heroes contest, but I've, I've done a good job of avoiding that. <coughs> the winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Oh god, I just smudged up my glass. <laughs> I'll clean my glass of water this. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Her abstinence campaign? Hmm. Even if they act immature, everyone... I might lose my voice <coughs> reading this. Oh. Even if they act immature, everyone at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit. In fact... Oh, what? She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. How come with abstinence, like, you have to be religious to do, sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> but she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. She, she left. Boop, boop. There's so many short sentences, it's like, they like, don't go together. It's so hard to read this all out. <laughs> <sighs> she looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or a movie. True love. Well, wait. I was like, what? <laughs> what? What? <clears throat> although, she, uh, uh, although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. What? <laughs> Shush, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy and total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 year, uh, 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. <laughs> I sure about that. Uh, Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed at her. Um, this is the person I was talking about, by the way, that... um. It reminds me of this uh, character in Gilmore Girls. Um, not only like the fact that she's all rich and whatever, but um, just the way that she speaks and like the way that she looks, she kind of looks like her. It's really weird. And I can't remember what her name is. Francie. Francie. Or Francine. Um, yeah. Her. If anybody remembers. Anyway. <clears throat> she does everything but sit in his lap. Ugh. <laughs> he keeps his distance though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! <laughs> please don't seduce him, please. Okay, okay, we're done with that. Good, next tab. Chrysalis. Oh yeah, I took this photo, huh? Okay, am I supposed to collect all these photos? I guess I am. Okay, well I guess I did good by doing that one then. Sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is this? Okay. Have a very special 18th birthday. 21st of September. Okay. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Okay. 
How do I go back? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's more. Hey Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be three after four. TTYL! <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, Max! I can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. X -O. Okay. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this method. Oh, there was more up here. Do you want to meet for coffee up school? I need an excuse to not study. Please! This guy... Actually, he doesn't... He doesn't text, like, all the time. It's like she's not replying to him. Hmm. You being one of those? Okay. Alright, I'm done. Okay, let's... <laughs> Let's do something now. Let's do something. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of reading. Now, uh, like my... Oh, my throat's all sore now. There's the outside. There are people out there doing things. Window. Is that what that is? Oh, I was wondering. Okay, let's look out the window. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. That isn't really panoramic, <clears throat> but okay. Sorry, I shouldn't make fun of her. She's only 18. <laughs> look! Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. That's because she is. <laughs> I guess. Uh, actually, I'll talk to you in a sec. Uh, let's have a look at this stuff. Look! You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. One second. I want to change the... I feel like the mouse... Although, I I'm not really sure if it changes... This is the wrong thing. I'm not sure if it changes, like, the camera sensitivity. But it's, uh... It seems... I don't know. Maybe I need to change my mouse settings or something. Okay. Oops. See, that didn't really seem to help. I don't know. Maybe I'm making it worse. You can never escape the light Oops. House here. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Sorry. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Okay. Look. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Why do you talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. TV. Can we do anything with the TV? Look. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Who talks like that? I don't think, um, I'm pretty sure your teacher didn't buy that. <laughs> um, pretty sure the school would have given it to him, but okay. Right. Hey, Mr. Jason. I'm gonna look at you. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Yes. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh... Do I have to? Do I have to? I just... Don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Did I actually hand it in or I'm sitting here? Let's move closer to you. This to is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous. Okay, 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 okay. Shh, shh. Don't have to say it again. Oh, books. Let's look at the books. Oops. Let's go to book. 
It's so cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. And yes. leave of its mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Yes, that is so cool that you get to check out books whenever you want to, because you can't do that at a library or something. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm just like... <sighs> okay. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Does anyone actually talk like that? I'm pretty sure I didn't go, that is so cool when I was that age. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, I did other embarrassing things. We're going to talk about this. Okay, I think, I think I've looked at everything now. I think we can leave. Let me just check there's nothing else over this way. Oh, photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Oh, you think you are. Okay. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay. Fairly fucking cool. I see. I see. Poster! Let's look at the poster. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. This dialogue is kind of killing me just a little bit. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Okay, so now we go this way. Uh, so next time, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I have to leave at some point. Is probably what happens next. So I'll see you next time on Let's Play Life is Strange Blind, episode one, I guess, or it's like the prologue or the something. Um, and we will leave the room, and something will happen, I guess. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.